Winnebago County's sheriff sues the county board. The complaint essentially seeks three things from the board. Properly fund the sheriff's department, stay out of its day-to-day -day business, and explain what you spent six tax dollars on over the last 10 years from a fund meant for crime prevention and detention. Flanked by sheriffs from several neighboring counties, the attorney for Winnebago County Sheriff Gary Caruana says he was forced to file a lawsuit against the county board, Chairman Frank Haney, and Treasurer Susan Gorrell. The county board, in their arrogance, stubbornness, will not budge on giving us proper funding. Court appointed attorney Terry Eccles been working on the sheriff's case for a year and a half. He says filing the lawsuit was a last resort. We tried to work with the county board, but frankly, it was like talking to a wall. The complaint stems from late 2017 when the board directed the sheriff to cut more than $4 million from his budget. Caruana claims that adversely affected his ability to do his job, forcing him to terminate 61 of 62 part time officers and reduce his full time staff from 332 deputies to 319. Now he believes the board wants to get rid of the patrol division, which would impact another 24 deputies. They were trying to assume internal control over the sheriff's office. That's illegal. Just as funding him at a level which they knew to be $3 million less than what he needed to reasonably run his office was illegal. ECHO claims there is money available from the public safety sales tax, which brings in about $30 million a year. That money is supposed to be used for public safety and law enforcement purposes. We have evidence they have spent it on such inappropriate things as grass cutting and painting and window treatment and other expenditures that are not directly related to law enforcement and public safety. The lawsuit asks for an accounting of how the board spent that money over the last 10 years. Echo says they're hoping for a quick resolution to the case since the department could run out of money as early as June. Chairman Frank Haney released the following statement regarding the sheriff's lawsuit. He said, quote, the real question is, will the Winnebago County Board decide to raise taxes to accommodate the request as board members Bert Gurl and James Salgado have suggested? Sheriff Caruana's lawsuit comes a day after the Winnebago County Board stripped some powers from Chairman Frank Haney. Board members voted 13 to 7 to pass an ordinance that takes financial and management responsibilities away from the chairman. The county administrator will now fill that role. Haney says the move will make his job more difficult and he is disappointed by the board's decision. You have a few folks, a few folks on our board and a few folks off our board who have been uh, committed to re-engineering the 2016 election and using the governance of the county to orchestrate or change an election outcome or inhibit it or to change the will of voters is disappointing. This is the ninth time the board has tried to restructure Chairman Haney's power since he took office in 2016.